They must, we must keep speaking our truth, but we must do it in a non-violent fashion. Okay? We have to do this because they will get violent at us at a moment's notice. Scientists, the press, physicians, and lay people must be able to speak and write. As a people, we cannot allow ourselves to be censored in this manner. It's time that our legislative and judicial branches of government do their job to protect our First Amendment rights. This bulletin from the Department of Homeland Security cannot be allowed to stand or we will no longer have freedom, freedom of speech in this country. Now, it's getting a little bit of weather. I've been talking a long time. simple words. Three, three simple words. No, no, no. Lock them up. Yeah, we all, we all, there's no question that some people deserve to be punished. And they've got to be outed. But that's yes. not going to cure what's wrong here. Okay? It's not going to cure the real sickness. It's not going to get us back to a healthy country. There's three words. Integrity, dignity, and community. Okay? Integrity means don't lie. Okay? Have integrity. Don't twist the truth. Stop the propaganda and censorship. Integrity has is what's gone wrong all the way through our government and our industries. We've got to restore integrity. Dignity, why do I use that word dignity? Because dignity is the soul, it is the core of what makes us human. It what makes us different from animals. Okay? We have to respect each other's dignity. I'm a farmer, I used to be a farmhand, I used to be a carpenter, I'm now a physician and a scientist. I treat everybody with dignity. I don't care where you come from, I don't care what your job is, I don't care about how educated you are. You are all fellow human beings, fellow travelers, and you all deserve to be treated with dignity. And you know what's wrong with the mandates? They totally disrespect your dignity. Okay? Dignity has got to be respected. we got to force these folks to think they're all high and mighty to recognize that we're not just cannon fodder. We're not just the deplorables. We're not just the eaters, to use the WEF terms, okay? We have to be treated with dignity. We're fellow humans. The last one, community. Why do I always say community? Because Matthias Desmond teaches that the real problem here is that we've lost community. And what I've seen it again and again are the people that are most resistant to the mass formation psychosis are the people in the religious communities and the people of faith and what do they have in addition to their faith they still have community you guys are a community you have come together as a community <clears throat> if you remember your friends and you stay in touch you will still be a community when you go out and you'll each form little cells and build more community and more friends and more colleagues and you'll take care of each other that's where things went wrong. We lost community. We have to rebuild community. It's going to be a long, hard trip. It's going to take time. We got to take care of our elders. We got to take care of our children. Because I'll tell you, here's the scary thing. The social security system is going to go bankrupt while most of us are still alive. Okay? We're going to be in a position where we've got to be able to rely on ourselves and each other. We cannot look to mommy government because it's not going to be there. It's bankrupt already. It's just waiting to die. Okay? We've got to take care of each other and we've got to take care of our children 
and we've got to take care of our elders. And the way that we do that is we rebuild community. Okay? Now I'm going to leave you with the last one. The truth is like a lion. You don't have to defend it. Set it free. It'll defend itself. I thank you. I wish you the best. Washington Post think for you. Don't let CNN think for you. Think for yourselves. We're now in a new world where we cannot trust the information that's been shoved down our throat. You've got to seek out every bit of information from every channel you can, and you've got to think for yourself, because if you don't, they're going to do your thinking for you, and you're not going to like where that ends up. Okay? That's right. Okay? Thank you. God bless all of you. Knows is locked them up in USA, huh? <laughs>